business people, time to have a look at matching receipts to customer accounts. That's a payment by a customer receipt to us. And we've got insufficient information. In other words, we don't know quite what they paid us for, what discounts or credit notes they've taken off. And we'll go through three worked examples as soon as we finish this PowerPoint. Okay, so why? Well, remittance advice went to the one person. It's been emailed to the sales rep. They haven't passed it on. Uh, maybe you're just filling in some could be part of above as well uh, and that's why we didn't get it somebody's on holiday sickness they've been furloughed or you're the apprentice so it doesn't normally come to you and it hasn't been passed over uh, maybe there was no information given the customer just sent in a check or paid online assuming that you know what they're paying you for um, or the items were written on the back of a check going back a little bit it was quite a common issue um, the checks being paid into the bank all you've actually got is the scan of the front page to work in the accounts department on because somebody paid in the check the minute you've got it uh, post room took after with compliments slip. they don't like staples and paper clips they automatically take things like that off and then they scan the check to you this is what we've got and forgot to send you the details on the with compliments slip so what we need to do is first of all we're going to identify which items have been cleared then which have been paid for and which items are outstanding now the outstanding bit is the main question but you have to do the other parts first and then as a possible tick box question or other sub additional question uh, how much is actually left owing and do we need to take action so really what we want to do also is make sure our customer account is fully up to date. Uh, this is our face sometimes between us and our customers. So therefore when we send out the statements, we need to make sure they look competent. Uh, otherwise we could lose customers. So on with some examples then. So okay, we've received £112.15 and this is our customer account. Looking at it, it's a fairly straightforward one. Um, that item and that item, so 30th of the 9th, they've cleared the balance at the start of the month, fairly routine. These questions do tend to have patterns to them, they do tend to make sense. Um, and then £112.15, well, okay, so the last number is often the biggest clue. So rather than worry about adding up big numbers in calculators and, and spending time, if I was doing this for real, I haven't done it for real for a long time, but when I did do it for real, uh, 6, 5, ah, 6 minus 1 is a 5, okay, then type it into your calculator, £158.56 minus £46.41 is £112.15. So actually what we can say is that that has been paid for and they've taken off that credit note. So now we can start answering the questions. What items have they paid for? Well, it's invoice 897 minus credit 45. And then difference between items outstanding, invoices not yet paid. So the items outstanding include an invoice not paid, but that's invoice 678. But also, of course, credit note 49. And then a discount for the £28.99. Hasn't got a number or anything like that. Which invoices are not yet paid, because this is what you would action or be worried about, uh, is the invoice 678. And that, of course, is the 16th. So depending on your credit control policies, you might need to do something about that. And how much do they owe you? Again, this may be an issue. Uh, it will be the invoice minus the credit notes. minus a discount. So they owe us £2,596.8. Obviously, bearing in mind that one's been paid, time to worry about why they're not paying you for that one. Maybe it's as simple as it just needs a director's signature because it's uh, a lot more money than that one. So another one then, just a similar nature. These questions, one after one, they start to look very similar, but the numbers are different, the number works different. So again, uh, we're going to work through the same. I, ideas so back onto me yellow colour so that 
has now been paid for not just the payment but they've taken off a credit note 981 double check it on the calculators that's a common pattern uh, so those are already cleared what have they actually paid us for £219.80 right okay we've got 7 9 4 and 9 the only combination of those numbers that will end up in 0 would be this one minus this no other combination possible that will end in a zero. Just double check, of course, 24569 minus 2589 is £219.80. So that means two outstanding items. So which items have they paid us for? Well, that's the invoice. 897 minus credit note 49. So students occasionally do get a little bit confused, misread the question, exam nerves. It can be task one. Which items are outstanding? The invoice 678 and invoice 958. How much do they owe us? Well, it's just going to be the two added together. Those two. And they owe us just over a thousand pounds. It's obviously if it's a credit limit, we start to get a little bit worried. But that one's only the first of the tenth. It's the fourth of October. We received the payment on the fourth of October. They wouldn't have paid for that one. And sometimes there's a big one at the end hasn't been paid. Look at the dates. So one last one then. So thirtieth of September, we've got a date. Received a payment for four thousand and fifty-five pound ninety. We're going to have to do the same work first. We've got a payment on the twenty-third. Obviously, these could be included in it. Uh, one, nine, two. That makes sense. So it's going to be one of these. It can't be that one because there's no way nine minus nine or minus nine. Is would be a zero. Um, not matter when we want this zero. However, one two, two, two thousand one hundred penny minus forty five eighty nine is this number. So quite happy. We, okay, it's a bit of an assumption. It was a brought down balance that was being paid. That one was the eighteenth of the ninth, so it's unlikely to have been that one. Um, although. It could, in theory, have been that one. So that's the probability issue. So these are all outstanding. They owe us quite a bit of money, but although they have just paid us £4,000, so two-thirds of it, give or take, and it was £4,055.90. Well, there's no combination. Uh, that A 9 minus a 9 would be a 0, but it would just be 1910 However, 89 and 1 is 90. 9, 1 is a 0. Okay, £4,055.90. Now try it on your calculator. Yes, it's those two added together. Uh, 30th of September rules this one out, even though it's the same amount. So I'm fairly sure those are the ones that they've paid us for. So now we can answer the questions. And 897, which items are outstanding? The invoice, 958. Forty-nine. How much do they owe us? Minus the credit note. They owe us £2,054.12. So the last digit helps, first thing to try, and then check it out on your calculator. And 99.999% certain we click the right ones there.